Hello, uh, you're listening to Count Richard von Kudenhof Kalergi. Uh, just a little message here from Inish Boffin off the Galway coast. And right over my left shoulder, you can see the remains of a fort built by Cromwell. Uh, I just like this little video is just a, a posting on why I actually chose the name Count Richard von Kudenhof Kalergi. Uh, he was a man born in Tokyo in 1897. He had a Japanese mother and an Austrian count as a father. He was a prominent member of the European, pan-European movement set up in the 1920s, which wanted to create the United States of Europe. And he had funding from the Warburg brothers in America, who gave him 20, 60 million uh, German marks towards that. He was also paramount in setting up the EU in the early 1950s. And uh, the Charlemagne Prize is named in his honor. And he was the first recipient of that prize and recipients have included last year was Macron, the year before that was the Pope, uh, Angela Merkel, Tony Blair and strangely enough Pat Cox have also been recent recipients of that award which seem to be following the footsteps of Kugenhoek's plan. Now Kugenhoek believed that the ideal man of the future and you can check this out in his personal philosophy was an Eurasian Negroid who would be Egyptian in appearance and his whole purpose was to create what he would see was to kill nationalism by blending people together and that it would make a more compliant and cooperative citizen who would feel no sense of identity as to where he was actually from and sometimes I wonder if you look at EU policy it seems to be anti its own people but yet wants to import immigrants even this country why do we need to export our youth when we and bring in people to if you look even the other day they were talking about people working in direct provision helping out in the agri-food industries which I think is ridiculous but uh, but if you look even more, more recent events such as Peter Sutherland giving a speech in the House of Lords in 2012 where he mentioned the same thing about creating a hegemony of people so personally I think these people regard nationalism and individuals who believe in their country as enemies of the state uh, that's my few thoughts before we move on elsewhere tomorrow and uh, you can count on the count. Bye bye.